Ah, uh, that was a long well, meeting. Do you have any plans <laughs> for this evening? I was going to head back to the hotel and go over my notes. I need to contact HQ and give a progress report, too. Okay, and let's call it a day here. It's Sounds a day good. here. Contact my office when you finish. Shut the fuck up, Weaver. <laughs> I'm sorry, we were doing too much Looney Tunes. That's true. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Peak? At Hold what? Hold on, Agent York. We're going out to eat at Nick's diner. Would you like to come with us? The diner? That might be nice. Thomas is a great cook, but Nick is the real deal. No visit to Greenvale is complete without eating at the A and G. A very appealing proposition. Zach, what do you think? We can always go back to the hotel after eating dinner, or go directly back to the hotel. You decide, Zach. We should she definitely. Them. Yeah, I was gonna say we should definitely go. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's gonna cause the social link to go up. <laughs> Well, well, they'll they'll be able to take a hit for you in battle. Next time you fight in the fucking raincoat killer, all of a sudden George pops out. Like, I've been no! sure here for a long time now, and this is the worst murder I've ever seen. Oh, the worst murder! Our town is a little. He just like smashed it into his face. That's how he eats. Place. We had our fair share of cases, but just the regular stuff. A high school kid shoplifting from the milk barn, maybe? Or some hot-headed kids fighting, fueled on liquor? Nothing more than that. Agent York, what kind of cases have you dealt with in the past? Not much different from those you've just mentioned. The case I was on until last month, well, the guy killed seven girls in a three-month period. He sawed their heads off from the neck and took them back to his house. He cleaned the skulls up and used them as utensils in his daily life to eat them <laughs> Thomas. as a urine cup. Mm. He hated women. That was his way of dealing with it. He posted so on his Twitter. <laughs> he filled skulls with ice, cola, and rum. Cuba Libre, I believe they're gone. in one gulf. For him, that was a holy ritual. The question of his mental state was the pivotal point in the court case. <laughs> oh, man. For me, he was insane. 100%. Drinking from the skulls, well, that is one thing. But those he had used to relieve himself, he would then just use them to drink from, too. Yeah, that was too much for me. Just not sanitary. <clears throat> <clears throat> not sanitary. Uh, that's probably not the problem for most of us. What else? Ah, yes. An ingenious law school student raped over 800 victims. That was a nice deal. 800, you, huh? Agent York. Now, let's talk that's about what he went to law else. school for. You don't want to hear anymore? That's a shame, isn't it, Zach? I was just about to get to the good part, too. I was about like to get to the rape part. What's wrong with you? I mean, you're like an elite agent who just jumped out from a movie or something. In your eyes, we must look like we're just playing cops and robbers. Ugh, I give up. I can't compete with you. Don't say that, Emily. The cases you have solved are all full-fledged crimes. A crime is a crime. Size doesn't matter. There is no big and small. Yeah, there is, dude. Mm -hmm. Shoplifting versus drinking Crimes from skulls. Always have a, a criminal and a victim. A fist fight versus 800 rapes. No like, dude. Will ever welcome a crime, no matter what it's I'll size. save the victim from this jaywalking so open fire. There is <laughs> no difference in size. Sure, York, whatever you say. Well said, Agent Morgan. Fuck both you work of you. Day and night to preserve peace and order in this town. You understand that, right? Of course. But still, I don't view shoplifting and Thank you. murder as the same level of crime. Me neither. I never even dreamt that such a thing could ever even happen in this town. <laughs> I keep on expecting to see Anna. 
here in this diner, waiting on tables. <laughs> Serving Quint back there. <laughs> Excuse us, Agent Morgan. We should have made dinner a more uplifting experience. Let's call it a night. Okay. Good night, then. <laughs> <laughs> fucking detached fucking Agent Morgan. Okay, good night. Walks away. God. While a grown man is sobbing in the booth. That reminds me of the story about the crybaby killer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hey, Crybaby Killer is actually kind of a cool serial killer name. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna file that one away. I'm gonna use that. All right, now we have to get back to the hotel in first person mode. That's okay. There, there we go. go. But first, I want to see if we can actually get that thing from George now. So we could play this game. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Where was George's house? I, yeah, I think like... it's that little tiny pink one. Yes. Over to the right. It's because, uh, to Over the right, to the right, to the right. It's not this one. It's the mysterious oh, okay. one that we couldn't figure out. Alright. Diner. Um, go to the... Yeah, go left. Do, wait, that was his place. Right? Did Where? Go up. Did I just see that? To, to, the, to the one you were just highlighting. Galaxy George Woodman. Woodman. Yeah. He's at the Galaxy of Terror, but that's oh. not his house. Oh. Like, I feel like everything's upside down, so I'm kind of back. Right there? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. I vaguely remember the map of this place. Very vaguely. All right, just right here. Yeah. And when is DP2 supposed to come out? I'm not sure. I'm Googling it. While you drive. I'll wake everybody up. Yeah. <laughs> what time is it in game? 10.30. 10.30 at night? Fuck them. 10.30, do you know where your kids are? They're in here, being brought to the police station. Come pick them up. They better not be with the fucking crybaby killer. Or whatever we call these fucking guys. Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise is the name, and it is supposed to come out 2020. That's all they said so far. It was announced in September, and there hasn't been anything else since. Came out yesterday, just no one noticed. That sounds like something Deadly Premonition would do, I'll be honest. Probably just release it under an entirely different name. <laughs> it comes out, and it's actually Frog Fractions 4. <laughs> just thinking about Frog Fractions the other day, about how I've never played it, and I don't know what happens in it. And you still have no idea what it actually is. Right. Yeah, I know. So those of you who are watching who know Frog Fractions, which I assume is probably none of you, um, never mind. Just play the fucking game. Whatever. Who cares? Are we at George's place yet? We should be near there. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep, just turn off here. Okay. And I think he's not actually here yet, but... Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Having this problem again. I know I've already joked about GTA 4 driving controls, but... My point stands. Also, York really needs to shave. He's growing it out. Oh, that's right. I forgot we were doing that. Yeah, he's not actually here yet. When does he get home? Well, and he's probably gonna go to sleep when he gets here. Well, last time I saw him, he was at the Galaxy of Terror. You're going the wrong way. Am I? Yeah. You go the other way. Oh, that was a big yawn. The Galaxy of Terror is right there. And he's still over there. Galaxy of Terror is the, the club, right? Yes. The fuck is he? 
First of all, I think I, I may have made this joke before. That sounds like an arcade. Second, what the hell is he doing? Beating up drunk people, probably. Getting drunk himself. Probably. I should go to bed soon. So he just walks in and sleeps in George's bed. Alright, is he still down there? Oh my god! Alright, he's probably gonna stay down there until at least midnight then. Yay. What is this Breath of the Wild shit? Enemies are out now. Seriously? Yep. Has this happened before? Yes. For us? Remember the dogs? Oh yeah, they were terrifying. God, okay. I'm just gonna smoke in the car if you don't mind. Okay. What the hell? That looked like crows trying to like crash into you. So can you just run over all these people and... Yeah, but the car will take damage so I can't do it too much otherwise it'll break down. Oh uh, yeah, we definitely don't fucking need that right now. You gotta get all the way back to the hotel. Oh! Well George isn't there anymore. He's not at his house. I thought he went to the police station or something. Just goo. How much damage does a car take when you smush him? Oh, quite a bit. Okay. Significant. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna hang out here for a minute. Let's see if he doesn't show up, and if nothing happens, I'll just edit the stuff out. Okay. Because I would really like to be able to get this item already. Um, you were, you were... No, I'm not seeing anybody, so I'm thinking that maybe they just all despawn because monsters are out. Probably. We probably just need to go so home then. And go back to the hotel. Alright. See you guys in a minute. Oh, nice. What happened? I hit an exploding barrel. Now my car is at 14%. Jesus, why are there exploding barrels just sitting around on the fucking street? Because it's a video game. Oh, yeah. Look at you driving. <laughs> hmm? Nothing. Just my imagination. Well, Riveting. Is sad all this is. <laughs> Thank goodness. Was that a, was that explosion your imagination too? Yeah, that's pretty but, good. Not you. Oh jeez, zero percent now. Yeah, but you're close. Yeah, that's okay. Home you're, you're like in the driveway. That car went really far for zero percent. Made it. Counts. We'll worry about that later. Qwerty! Typewriter! Typewriter brand typewriters. Yeah. <laughs> I wish there were some of the zombies just like in the background shuffling around. Just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Guys, do you mind keeping it down? I'm trying to finish my paperwork. I'm trying to finish my screenplay. Okay then, Zach. Let's go back over our progress. First the victim, Anna's death. She was found hanging from a tree in the forest. She was cut open with a knife from her chest down to her stomach. That was the direct cause of death. I'd imagine. The strangulation marks and skull fracture were caused after death. Her tongue was also bit off and I found something inside her mouth. Do you remember what that was, Zach? Was it the red... Oh, do you actually have to answer? Yeah, it's those little red thingies, right? Red seed. That's right. We found the same red seed in her mouth. 
According to Emily, it was raining. When Did we determine killed. if she bit the off her own tongue? Were still evident on her face. Which means no, it was the killer that bit her tongue off. Fucking weird. And, the and then carried her body into the woods after it stopped raining. We found numerous important pieces of evidence at the site of the crime. A total of four things. Knee prints in the grass. A wood chip with metal dust. A photo of a man with a tattoo on his back. And one other thing. Oh, uh, wow. That was, was that? that was a while ago for us. Um, which is it? It was this broken stiletto, right? Broken stiletto. Yeah. That's right. A broken stiletto heel. Aligning this with the other evidence suggests that two people came into contact with Anna's body prior to it being discovered by us. Those being the perpetrator who killed Anna and Miss Stiletto Heel. There is also the possibility that a third party carried Anna to the woods. That means we could be dealing with three people. Two or three people. In any case, Miss Stiletto Heel may have vital information. We need to find her next. We didn't use forensic methods, but we're still closing in on the criminal. <sighs> Have I forgotten anything? Ah, of course. The marks on her hand tell us that Anna was gripping something when she died. Do you remember that, Zack? Uh... What do you think she was holding on to? A wow. wig. <laughs> I don't remember. A round wig. That's right. A round on. It was whatever it imprinted onto her hand. Her hand suggested a piece mark. The man in the photo found in the woods had a tattoo of an upside down piece mark on his back. These two could well be related. But we don't know for sure. Next I guess we'll phone. never know. Case closed. A few are worthy of special attention. <laughs> Carol McLean, the singer and bar owner. She's Thomas's sister. Then there's Nick Cormack, the owner of the diner. Both of them seem to be hiding something. There's Diane, the owner of the art gallery, who's out of town. Then we have problematic, old, rich, and eccentric Harry. Both will be tough to crack. Well, we just have to go one by one. I've been thinking. One of the biggest rewards here is the fantastic food. Enjoying food is cultural, and yet it's also a bit uncivilized. It's interesting how good food motivates me to work harder during investigations. Oh, and on Emily's back, it was strange to me. Hey, don't take that the wrong way, Zach. I wasn't getting all excited or anything. You brought it up. It did make me feel strange. Nostalgic and sad, almost. It's starting to rain. Don't include that in your report. I think this case <laughs> may take a while. Huh, okay. I'm pretty sure that that hairy guy didn't do it. Unless he turns out to be faking this whole cripple thing. Mm. He's faking the cripple thing. Nice stiletto heel, but it's the wrong color. And not broken. that machine York we cleared dinner three continues over the course of that dinner 